mask. Well, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, more than 140 Americans die every day from an opioid overdose. President Trump declared a public health emergency yesterday to deal with the opioid epidemic. The announcement frees up some resources for treatment. Now, Indiana's governor applauded the decision, saying it multiplies the impact of the state's efforts and save more Hoosier lives. Joining us now is State Senator Jim Merritt. He's been a leading advocate for solutions to the opioid epidemic here in Indiana. Welcome, Senator. First, your reaction to Trump's announcement briefly. Is there any substance there or is it just politics? Oh, I think it's there. There's a lot of substance there, and I'm very pleased that he made the announcement yesterday. I thought it was a powerful speech, and uh, I think it's going to be catalytic for us in Indiana. Uh, many, many good parts of that speech, including the IMD part, where you can have more than 15 beds in a facility. Uh, I, I think that uh, the Christie report that's coming out, the interim report was great on the Christie Commission on drugs, uh, and I expect the uh, the report that's going to be the final report is uh, going to be exceptional in itself. And, th and a, a lot of answers lie in that report. Indiana you know, made it easier this year to establish needle exchanges. Counties don't have to get that state approval, but there are fewer exchanges now than before the law went into effect. Is there a need for any state action now? I think needle exchanges should be a local decision. Uh, we've seen some, like you said, some communities, some counties back away from it. Uh, maybe they see uh, the issue lessening in their in their uh, in their in their area in their county. Uh, but something like Monroe, Scott County, should continue if they feel as though the scourge of of heroin is uh, is so impactful in their community that they believe that possibly HIV or Hep C. Uh, will be in uh, in in uh, in the uh, situation in the crisis that are, they're experiencing, but I'm I'm quite comfortable right now uh, that this is a local decision, local funding, and local uh, government officials uh, making that making that uh, impact. Um, county officials say that they have a moral obligation to not enact some of these needle exchanges, but at the same time. You as you said, the exchanges have been seen to help uh, the spread of HIV. So how do you tackle that issue with moral obligations on that county level? Well, I can't really talk about the moral issue. Uh, that's in, that's in, that, that is in their uh, community, that's in their heart. And I, I support their uh, ability to make that decision. What I do uh, support is, is someone in that community that may uh, see hep C or HIV start to pop up uh, and, and clean needles are the de demand of the day when that occurs, and, and just like in Scott County. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, the, the folks of Monroe County believe that a needle exchange is important. They uh, work with the prosecutor, they work with the, with the community leaders and, and, uh, and funding and got the job done, and, uh, and, and that is good for that county itself. All right, thank you very much, State, Gen State Senator Jim Merritt. Thank you.